Yo, what's happening everybody? King GBL here, and welcome back to a brand new Go Battle video. Today I'm going to be showcasing a really strong team in the single type cop, which is going to feature a double counter backline of Machamp and Vigoroff, and in the lead we have none other than Kofagrigus. Kofagrigus is an amazing pick for this cop, by far the best ghost type that's available. It resists counter damage, does absolutely fine against fairies, does really well against almost everything, even some of the normal types. The moves are going to be resisted on both sides, and you're going to be outpacing to the Dark Pulse. You can even consider running this Pokemon with Psychic, in case you do start seeing some poison type Pokemon, or of course if you want a harder hitting move, you can go for Psychic. For this video we're running it with Dark Pulse, which I think I do prefer, because it does allow you to win the Mirror Match, which is pretty common, and overall I think it's just a little bit better having that slightly spammier move on this thing. If this Pokemon ever got a move that is slightly spammier, like a foul play, this Pokemon could be insanely good in the Great League, but as it stands, it is a very strong Pokemon, but just a little bit sitting outside of the meta, but in this type of meta here with single typings, this is where Kofagrigus really shines. Now of course we do have the double counter backline, if you took 2 seconds to look at PV Poke, you would see that I think roughly 7 or 8 out of the top 10 Pokemon are counter users, so no surprise that counter is going to be super strong in this cup. You of course do have to watch out for fairies, but as I mentioned in yesterday's video, you can actually beat Clefable in the 2 shield with Machamp, and you know it's not that straightforward. There are a couple of charmers, for example Granbull, and of course you can put charm on Clefable, Slurpuff. I don't predict it being super common for the first day or two, but I definitely do think that we will start seeing a lot of those. Anyway guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Um, listen, sorry for the lack of uploads for the last week, and um, we had Element Cop and Ultra League. I did not do very well in Ultra League, and Element Cop I think is a little bit boring for most people, so apologies for the lack of uploads, but we're back. We're going to be doing a double upload today, and I'll be doing a ton of single type cop teams, so if you haven't yet done so, quickly subscribe, it's absolutely free, and as a result you're going to get a lot of fun videos to watch. It's a win-win for everybody. Hit that like button as well, really helps out the videos, and let's hop into this. The opponent's running a really fun team here, of course I'm running a sweaty meta team and this person here is running, I guess they do have Regis Steel, which is pretty sweaty. The opponent has a cool team, they've got of course Haxorus in the front with Counter, we've got Fracture in the back with Dragon Tail, and we do have a little bit of a sweaty Pokemon in Regis Steel. Now one thing that I was not expecting was to see so many Registeels and actually Umbreons in this cop. It could be just the people I'm playing, you know, it could just be the time of day I'm playing it or whatever, like, I just happen to be running into these people who are running Registeel. I was expecting to see quite a lot of double counter teams, like a Machamp Vigoroff team, Machamp Haxorus, whatever that, you know, whatever it may be. I was expecting to see a ton of double counter. I was really surprised, I was running double fairy today. As you can see, I went 1-4 at the start of the video. Um, that's good. I was running double fairy and it just wasn't running into them. I kept running into um, Registeel and other things, um, so it was pretty difficult to run double fairy for this first day. I think people will start switching over towards Machamp and the counter users, um, because maybe like you know people are getting wrecked with the Registeels and Umbreons and things. Um, which again, I'm super surprised to see these Pokemon in this cup. But yeah, we'll see how it goes for the next couple of days. I think fairies could be strong. But anyway, with this team, we had a really good result. If you don't want to be spoiled, you can just, you know, mute it for a second here, or just not listen for a second. But I went 9-1 and one with this team. Um, 1-4 and four at the start with fairies and all this other stuff, and then 9-1 and one with this team. So really, really happy with that. Of course, why would I not be, like, why would I not be happy with that? Yeah, I went 9-1, and one, you know, to be honest, I'm pretty disappointed. Thought I would have went 10-0, but, you know, like, we'll, we'll just deal with it, I suppose. Um, we're gonna go for this rock slide. And here you're seeing the power of Machamp, and I think I prefer normal Machamp. Definitely has a little bit less glassy. Um, and I think right here we've got this mirror match here. I think what I'm trying to do is basically just get shields down off the opponent and look to counter it down with Machamp. Um, but yeah, that's the thing with Machamp. Like it counters things down so much. Um, back in comes the Greedent. I was surprised the opponent did not try to take out my Kofagrigus. Um, they do no crunch and body slam. Uh, so this will be interesting to see if they get off multiple moves. This little squirrel is so spammy and it's super annoying to play against. But with a double counter team, this thing can't really do too much to you, and a non-stab crunch is not even going to be enough to take out Kofagrigus. Kofagrigus is one of the bulkier ghost type Pokemon, and it's serving me super well in this cup so far. Um, but yeah, we'll see how the meta shifts, and we'll see how things go. But so far so good, I would say. It's not as super RPS as I thought it was going to be. I'm seeing a decent variety of Pokemon, but I think as you guys have witnessed before and experienced in Go Battle League, uh, in these new cops, people run different stuff for the first couple of days, and then it narrows down to a meta. So hopefully that doesn't happen too quick. But of course, we do have a lot of answers for things, and I will be keeping you guys updated with probably the best teams to run uh, throughout the week. But yeah, in comes this uh, Granbull. So Granbull currently is running Snarl. So people are playing respectfully at the moment. No Charmers, it's just Snarl, Granbull. Now this thing can no Crunch and uh, Close Combat. So I'm going to let this go thinking, thinking it's a Crunch. It is the Close Combat, the opponent just nukes me. And at this point, like I could even counter it down with Machamp if I wanted to. I come in and get the energy in Kofa. 
and we'll look to see what comes in. The opponent does have a move banked on the Ninetales, so we'll see if they come in and snipe with it. They do come in and snipe. And Ninetales, you know, it's an interesting pick for this cop. I know Dan Ottawa is a huge fan of this one, and I'm sure you guys are going to see a video from him. Without even checking his channel, I can almost guarantee you, if you look on his channel right now, there will be a Ninetales video. <laughs> he loves that Pokemon. And now you're going to see this matchup with Clefable. So here's the count, right? It takes him 7 to get to the Moonblast. Um, it takes them 6 and then 5 to get to the Meteor Mash. It takes us 5 and then 7 uh, for Cross Chop and Rock Slide, respectively. So if we keep baiting this and keep successfully baiting, we can beat this Pokemon. As you can see, like the counters are adding up almost as much as the Fairy Winds are. We're going to go straight for this move and uh, look to see what the opponent wants to do. The opponent makes a very nice call here, but even at this point, look, we can just go for another one. The opponent's getting super, super low. So like this, what you would consider to be a dominant matchup, is not that dominant at all. Uh, what I decide to do here is come in and eat the move on Cofagrigus and uh, look to potentially get off a move. I could have just went for the Dark Pulse, but uh, the opponent's only real play there was to commit, the, to commit to the farm down. And as you can see, like, Cofagrigus is eating those moves super, super well. My thinking there is, like, the opponent has to throw a move, and if they don't throw a move, I'll get to a move. And if I get to a move, I win. If I don't get to a move, I should outpace uh, with the, the Machamp to the Meteor Mash, because we do slightly outpace. So that was the thinking there. Maybe a little bit of a risky catch, but uh, I felt like I had to do something there. Cofagrigus into Haxorus. Um, so this is a bit of an awkward one. Um, the opponent swaps straight out into Dragonair, so we're seeing another double Dragon team. Now what I like to do against Dragonair, um, if you see it in the lead, what I like to do, and even on the swap, right? They go for Aquatail, which is the correct move. I like to go for a bit of an overfarm, fire off uh, Dark Pulse, and then like to hop into Vigoroth. Because Vigoroth generally outspams this thing. You're guaranteeing a shield, basically. I'm not going to go for the CMP, or did I go for CMP? Maybe I did. Um, body Slam coming through, and it is a CMP, okay. So that's not the end of the world, the opponent's forced to make another shielding choice, and they do decide to shield it. Now at this point, I think that I'm outpacing them, this is a regular Dragonair. It's not completely tearing for me, and I think what I decide to do is completely commit to the farm down. We're up a shield, we're up energy, and back in comes this thing. Now this Body Slam is going to hurt, but the only unfortunate thing is this thing is going to farm us down, get ahead on energy. What I want them to do is basically dump a move. Um, in comes Ninetales, we're just going to Shadow Ball this straight away. And I think what I look to do is come in with Machamp here, get ahead on energy. We will win, s no actually we don't win CMP on Haxorus, but we will be ahead on energy. And we'll have the move loaded, and that'll be a good game. So Haxorus actually beats Machamp in uh, CMP, so that's something you need to learn. You have to remember that one. Do not CMP this thing. Like, this thing just beats everything in CMP. I could be completely, like, misinformed here or thinking incorrectly, but I'm, I'm about 99% sure this thing beats Surfetched in CMP. Um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that is the case. In comes an interesting pick here, Mew. Now, this is the Mew Roulette. What does it have? Does it have Wild Charge? Does it have Flame Charge? Does it have Surf? Does it have Dark Pulse? What is this going to be? I decide to shield it up because this is a dominant matchup. I'm expecting the opponent to return shields. And yeah, we're going to look to basically just play this out in the two shield. And um, we're just outpacing them with the Shadow Claws here. And um, we have better bulk than Mew and um, we'll see what the opponent decides to do. They go for the Wild Charge. They should have just went for the Surf to keep it close. But they're up a shield and in comes Meganium. Now at this point, this thing is this, this thing is strong. Frenzy Plants can just rip for everything. I decide to come in with Vigoroth and in comes Machamp. And you guys are going to see here, I had an energy on the swap. Vigoroth can actually beat Machamp. Um, the counters add up, but look, like they're not going to be able to counter us down. And the opponent realizes that and are forced to throw a move. They could have overfarmed a little bit more, but I think they were a little bit afraid of doing so. And um, what I decide to do here is go for a CMP, a very risky CMP tie. But I can't really come in with Cofagrigus, it'll just get countered down. The opponent, of course, is forced to let it go. The opponent, once again, is forced to throw a move. And we'll see, can we get off the move in time? Yeah, we do have the move loaded on Cofagrigus. And that's going to be good night to Meganium, and that's a good game. So, you know, you're going to have to manage your energy in this cup a little bit. Meganium is such a cool Pokemon. I'm a big fan of uh, Chikorita, as you guys know, in the Element Cup. And Meganium is just a strong Pokemon. And the opponent's running the Shadow Meganium, which will almost one-shot anything. And there we go. First set, 5-0. I'm like, okay, this is looking good. Looks like we've uh, found a good team here. A double counter, who would have thought? So let's have a little bit of an ELO check here. Let's do an ELO check. 2266, folks. Um, I've been having a rough week, honestly. I've been just in around this ELO for the whole week. So hopefully with these upcoming Great League metas, we can look to make a bit of a climb. And of course, like I said, I won 4-1 next set. Um, so we're going to be chilling here. In comes Dragonair. So again, what I like to do in this lead is let them throw off a move and eat it. And then look to swap out to Vigoroth. I'm not going to CMP them. The opponents are playing these uh, this match pretty well because like they're trying to CMP me. Which makes it awkward because it means I can't directly outpace. If they throw like directly on 6, it means I can just throw my move and then outpace. But they're going to be able to get off another move before I get off a move. But they do swap out. Now this is a, I think this is slightly favourable for uh, Coffin, because you can see like Bulldoze, yeah it does a lot of damage, 
but they're going to outpace to the Dark Pulse. Um, so like this is a pretty close match. I'm slightly ahead on energy, but as you can see, like two Dark Pulses is going to take me out. Um, unfortunately here, do I decide to shield this? I think I do. I want to get this lower. I'm trying to get it into a farm down range. I'm hoping the opponent does not shield back here because this could make it very awkward. The opponent does not. And I think what I decide to do here is just commit to the farm down. And this is best case scenario. Back in comes Dragonair, we have a move loaded. And at this point, the opponent's forced to shield or let it go. The opponent does let it go. I know I'm not going to win switch, so I swap out. If you know that you're not going to win switch, that's when you swap out. People sometimes ask me, like, when do you aggro swap or when do you not aggro swap? If you know that, like, they've got, like, two Pokemon left, right? They've one Pokemon in the back. And you know that you're not going to take it out. That's when you aggro swap. And look at this. Boom. That just absolutely wrecks the tin can. And this is just going to absolutely bury it. So good night, tin can. And uh, good games. Like I said, really surprised to see, like, well, actually, I sort of knew Registeel. Registeel is a really good pick in this cup, by the way. Um, like, against the Shadow Machamp, it wins the Zero Shield. It, it only loses the Zero Shield to a handful of Pokemon. This thing is super, super strong. So if you use uh, Registeel as a safe swap, which I might do in my next video, um, that thing's going to get you shield advantage almost guaranteed. So, like, it's not, it's not a good closer, I don't think, because you do have Machamps in the back. But I think as a safe swap, it's pretty powerful. Once again, Dragon Early, we're going to play this the same way. We're going to eat the move, fire off a move, and then look to swap into Vigoroth. Guarantee shield advantage, and look to try and take swap of Vigoroth. And if they do come in with Machamp here, at this point we can look to outspam it, but they do come in with another Meganium. Am I just playing the same person again? I think I actually did play the same person a couple of times here. Um, but I think this is a different, uh, like it's like a similar team, but it's, um, yeah, it's a different person. Frenzy Plan coming through. As you can see, that just rips for me. If that was the Shadow from earlier, that would just be looking to absolutely wreck me. Now, I don't think I can survive another Vine Whip. The opponent is shielded up, and yeah, we can't unfortunately get off the next Body Slam. But here's the amazing thing. We're up shields, and I'm thinking, alright, Machamp with two shields can basically just beat anything. <laughs> so, I'm trying to counter this, and unfortunately, they do get off another move here. Um, I was hoping to get the full counter down. Hopefully, that doesn't cost us here. Back in comes Dragonair. We're just going to beat this thing out of here. Get out. I'm not dealing with this. Uh, you just want to get rid of Dragonair as quickly as possible. And the opponent top left, I think it was a tin can in the back. So, good games, and very well played. Um, my champ up a shield just it dominates, honestly. Super, super strong. As I was saying to you earlier, like in the two shield, you can be Clefable. So, if you're up a shield, unless it's just a charmer which is tearing you down, um, like a gramble, like a shadow gramble is the only thing that you really, really are worried about. Um, up a shield, my champ can deal with almost anything. Now, what I decide to do here is come in here, and what I'm going to try and do is CMP them on the second body slam, which will negate the extra counter that they got through. But the opponent swaps out, so I'm happy enough with this, because what that, what I was trying to do was a risky play. Um, I've got a rank 8 Vigoroth, it's slightly more attack weighted, I believe. I can't remember, the, the IVs are on screen here for you, I haven't fixed the IVs yet. Um, but I think it's a slightly more attack one, but it is a pretty highly rated uh, Vigoroth. So I was trying to CMP the second one to basically equalise the energy. Hope to win CMP and take that match. Um, the opponent's down super low, Thunder Punch coming through, and at this point we can look to farm down. Now, I would have liked to have taken Switch, but going down two shields with a Machamp in the back is never the greatest idea. And once again, you're seeing this match it's slightly positive for a uh, Coffin. And it may look to basically bang and then just go for a swap. I think I want to eat a move on this first so the opponent doesn't spam me, but they're going for a huge overfarm and they go for the CMP as well. So, what I'm basically hoping for is Bulldoze to come for a boom. Uh, you know, Body Slam would have been better, but I, of course, it's going to be Bulldoze. I want the opponent to shield up and then we're going to come in and counter down. The opponent, yeah, they do not let it happen. And then comes Registeel. And then the one shield, uh, just normal Machamp. It can just about eat a Zap Cannon. So, like, even in the zeros, this is, like, okay. Like, it's not great, but it's, oh, you know, it's, well, what am I on about? It, of course it's okay. But, you know, like, in the zero shield, it's a, a little bit dicey. Like, if they get ahead in energy, um, it can be a little bit dicey. So here we go, folks. Let's hop into the next one and see what happens. But, yeah, I love this team. I think this might be one of my sort of go-to teams, depending on how the meta shifts. Um, to look to gain some elo and just kind of spam out some wins. Uh, but we'll see what the next opponent has for us. If I do remember, the game that I lost, the opponent made a really good uh, really good play here. So I've played this person twice in this video, the ZZZ guy. Um, it's Need Arena in the lead. Oh no, actually, yes, I think I played them earlier this morning when I was using the fairy team. And they had the Need Arena, <laughs> which was awkward. Uh, yep, boom, coming through. And yeah, we're ahead in energy. So at this point, um, I'm going to see what the opponent wants to do. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and fire off the Shadow Ball. So I'm seeing that they're throwing Shadow Ball, so it makes me think, okay, maybe you're on Psychic. 
So what I'm maybe going to look to do is try to eat a Shadow Ball and Vigoro here. Um, the opponent, yeah, so I, I mistime it, so I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm bad. <laughs> I could have caught the Shadow Ball. But at this point, yeah, can we still do it? Yeah, we still can do it. So I look to catch the Shadow Ball and counter down. I've got so much energy in Coffin now. Uh, I only have a small amount of health, and we're going to look to go for a Bulldoze in this thing. Now, you guys are going to see that this Need Arena is super, super bulky. Poison Fang coming through, it absolutely stings, for sure. And we're going to go for a slight over farm. And look to fire off this Bulldoze. This does not enough damage. <laughs> it does not do enough damage. Um, they're going to take us out with this next Poison Fang. And I think what I might like to do is counter down with Machamp. And look to come out with energy on the other side. Can we get this in time? No, the opponent does get the debuff. So, unless we can swap out to Kotha, we're going to be permanently debuffed, unfortunately. It's unlikely that the opponent comes in with their super weak Pokemon, so we'll see what's in the back. It is Meganium. So we're going to fire off this Cross Chop, and remember, we have a move loaded on this thing. We're going to snipe with it, but the opponent anticipates the snipe. Amazing play by the opponent here, and really high level play. They anticipate the snipe, and, you know, you got to just take your hats off to that. Like, well played to the opponent right there. Completely outplayed me, completely predicted what I was going to do. And you can you just have to respect that sort of gameplay. The opponent was in a tough spot there, and you know we had a move loaded, right, which would have got them super low. You got to respect that. That's a really good play and well played by the opponent. You know that's like, you know if you're trying to get to the next level, those are the type of things that you need to be able to predict. And the opponent's showing just really really good uh, game sense right there. In comes this thing. It probably knows counter, and they're swapping into Golduck. I'm like, bro, I cannot let this thing onto my backline. I think I sort of forgot that Vigoroth is not a fighting type. Otherwise, I probably would have just went into Vigoroth, come to think of it. But I was just thinking, like, oh yeah, I've got two fighters in the back, I can't let this thing do anything to my backline. I, I completely forgot that this is a normal type in the back, to be honest with you. The opponent goes for the bait. I was expecting the Liquidation, they go for Cross Chop, and now, of course, in comes Liquidation. We're going to fire off this um, this Dark Pulse here, and we're going to hope to get off another Dark Pulse. I look to Insta-Swap, in comes Umbreon, the opponent is still switch-locked, and I wish I had have sort of waited a bit more of a second, I, I could have came in with Machamp here. But this is absolutely fine, and we want to get some usage out of this Pokemon anyway. So that's absolutely fine, we're going to spam my Body Slams. The opponent will be able to just destroy this thing with counters. And at this point, we've got almost two Body Slams loaded. Um, so that was kind of my thinking there, like, if you have a Pokemon that's super weak to the opponent's lead, and they've swapped out and their Switch Clock is locked, try to get the usage out of the Pokemon that's going to be dead against whatever's in the front. As you can see, like, we've got so much damage into this thing now. The opponent is forced to throw, they can't counter us down. And at this point, what I can look to do... Is counter this thing down. They go for Heavy Slam, which is pretty funny. Counter this down and look to fire off a Cross Chop on the Umbreon. The opponent will get off um, a Last Resort or a Foul Play. But this absolute mad lad's running Psychic. And uh, this is the one time Psychic Umbreon is useful, I guess. They realise it doesn't one-shot. And that's another reason why I do like this Pokemon instead of uh, Shadow Machamp. It's just got that extra bulk and it's a, it's a little bit useful in those situations. So we go 4-1. Um, the only reason we didn't go 5-0 is because the opponent just outplayed me, so well played to the opponents. 9-1 um, with this team, 1-4 with Double Fairy. Double Fairy will be back, but it's not going to be for a day or two for sure. But uh, thank you very much everybody for watching, we're 23 15. Hopefully I can make the push towards uh, Veteran quite soon, and of course, uh, as the season progresses, get into Expert. I've got myself this little... <laughs> I've got myself this little um, pay -win Pokemon here. I was actually looking for you because I thought he played that ZZZ person a couple of times. Um, I think for the likes of things, they beat me twice today. I think they beat, yeah, so they beat me twice today. But anyway, good games. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, like I said, you know, turn on notifications for the channel. I'll be doing a second upload today. We've got Stinky Binky here, who's going to be super meta in the Great League. Do let me know your thoughts and opinions on Stinky Binky, or Carbink, as most people know it. Um, let me know your thoughts and opinions on Carbink. I think I do end up buying this box, because I want to puff in the life out of this thing. But in any case, guys, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you all later for a brand new video.